What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. I have to confess something. I'm gonna show you guys what I messed up on. I went cheap on one of the parts on the car and it's time to fix it because, yeah, we can't be rocking cheap parts that don't fit right on this car, especially when it's engine related. All right, you guys, I'm gonna show you what I cheaped out on and why you guys should definitely not go cheap with this part or really any part on your car. So let's go take a look at it. All right guys, so it's my charge pipes. These are what I cheaped out on. Now I upgraded these when I first bought the car, mainly because the OEM ones are plastic and they can crack under boost or whatever and I just didn't want to deal with that. So I have these aftermarket ones. Now they look great at this angle, but once you look at the fitment of them, look at this hose clamp right here. It's like being stretched and almost like, it feels like it's about a crack right there. So that's an issue right there. Now there's a lot of fitment issues with these charge pipes. And when I take them off, I'm gonna show you guys what exactly I'm talking about. There's quite a bit of damage down there with these charge pipes. And uh, yeah, we gotta put some new ones in and make them fit a little better. But we're over at Colorado N5X because Brian actually hooked me up with some of his used charge pipes because he just went single turbo on his M3, so that means he doesn't need the dual charge pipes anymore. So he's selling me his used ones. They're VRSF, great fitment, way better than these cheap ones. So we're going to go ahead and use those and install them at the shop. Now, honestly, I think these charge pipes were like bought off of AliExpress and like a third party company went ahead and sold them because they looked really nice on the website but they were like 150 bucks and yeah I just decided to buy them and when I received them they had like no brand labeling on them nothing they were unmarked so definitely think they were just a super cheap part that somebody flipped to make some extra money on it so yeah lesson learned just buy name brand products for your car because eventually you're gonna have to replace those cheap parts that you bought with nice ones that are reliable and actually fit right. All right guys, so they actually have a car in the shop right now, so I'm gonna start taking all the plastic pieces and carbon fiber strut bar and everything off so that it's all ready to go once we pull it in. So yeah, we're just gonna get started on that. Guys, I'm gonna show you where these charge pipes get a little sketchy. That bolt right there would not go on unless we drilled slots into the charge pipe right there. Same on that bolt too. Well, when I take it out, I'll give you guys a better look and it just, it, it doesn't look good. <laughs> I've got my little pile of stuff right there. Uh, the shop is actually going to stay full for another few hours, so decided to just do everything out here and just bring the tools out here as well. So there's no sun, so the weather's really nice for me to be able to work on my car outside today. All right, guys. Well, here's the here's where the bolt clamps on for the charge pipes. As you can tell, I had to do some cutting on these pipes because they simply would not fit right. So yeah, they look super janky. It's like that on the other one too. And there's tons of scratches and dents on these because, again, they just didn't fit right. But yeah, check that out. Super glad to get rid of these. All right, guys, so here are Brian's old charge pipes off of his F80. Uh, these are VRSF, so they're actually test fitted before they sell them to fit in the car and not have any weird fitment issues. So where the bolt goes in, that's all perfect. Um, these clamps are a little stronger, so um, it should really seal the charge pipes down better than what I had before. So. We'll go ahead and start installing them. Just got the charge pipes in. Look at that fitment, looks way better. There's a couple of scuffs, but that's because Brian was running these for um, a while. So they're, they are used, but they fit way better than my other ones. So I'm super happy. Honestly, I think I was having a boost leak with those old ones. So these ones should definitely just make the car drive a little better, honestly. But yeah, I'm gonna start putting everything back together. Then yeah, we'll be all done with it. All right, guys, got the whole engine bay put back together. Strut bar, plastic pieces, everything. I love how these charge pipes look. They just look better because they're actually fitting right and they're not shifted or looking like they're gonna break a hose clamp or anything. So super happy with these and glad that I got those cheap, whatever they were, charge pipes out of this car. 
All right, she's running, everything sounds good. I'm gonna go ahead and drive it and see how she feels. Listen to that cold start though, you can, you can hardly hear me because it's so loud. All right guys, well the car is all put back together, driving it, it all feels great. So I'm super happy that I got these charge pipes. I got them for such a good deal. He sold them to me for like 80 bucks, which is so good because VRSF charge pipes are like 300 bucks brand new. So, I mean, 80 bucks, you can't really beat that. So, and I don't really get too bothered by buying used parts, but um, yeah, super happy that's out of the way. Super relieved that I don't have sketchy charge pipes anymore, but uh, lesson learned, make sure that you just go ahead and buy the nice stuff because eventually you'll have to replace the, uh, the cheap stuff that you buy for you know, especially a car that's this nice like the M4. But I cannot express to you guys enough how excited you should be because behind the scenes when I'm not uploading, I am working on a lot of fun stuff for the channel. Um, I'm actually gonna be taking on an adventure that's pretty crazy. Nobody's done it before. So, I mean, it's been done, but not with an M4. So we're gonna do something crazy. It's gonna happen in a few months, so you guys just have to stay patient. Uh, stick with the channel because it's only gonna get better from here. I have so many crazy plans. Um, we're gonna make sure that you guys entertain, just know that. So um, anyways, that's about it for this video. Just a quick video kind of showing you guys my, my little mistake I made. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next upload. Peace out.